感到一拆小孩。感到一大牛排。It's not fair. You did your time. Hello guys, we just arrived to the beach. We're just gonna pack up our stuff and swim a bit in the ocean. I'm really longing for it. It's so so warm already, even though it's seven o'clock in the morning. These days has been so warm here, and today it's gonna be up to 37 degrees. So oh, we're gonna be very warm. We're also gonna do some snorkeling. So really excited. We bought our stuff. We normally forget our snorkeling things, but today we finally remembered. So. little swim and it's time for our second breakfast we're also seeing that this chili hit over there is open so i think we're gonna go and have a coffee after breakfast but uh, first let's pack up our fruit Fy fan, vad gott. we got some watermelon and some yogurt oh and some blueberries yeah this is another fork yeah So we have just left everything in the car and it is time for a coffee. I kind of feel for an ice cream, but it's 8.30, so it feels a bit early, but... Uh, yeah, let's order. Favorite ice cream, mango and almond. It's not my favorite. You it is? Which one is your favorite? Five. Huh? Five favorites. <laughs> but this is one of your favorites, I explained. You always order this one. Yeah, this one I'm used to. Yeah. 8 o'clock in the morning, summer has no rules. Can I try Coffee one? Coffee has arrived. Oh. I have never tried it. Can I? Huh? Ah, for me. Can I try? Mmm. Can, really? can I try? Can I try? Hey. Really good. We are just going to be chilling here a bit before going back home. Tonight we have an event, so we are going to take you guys on an event tonight. First to Ben after lockdown. Yeah, or corona. in one and a half year, almost. More or less, yeah. Yeah, pretty crazy. So I'm really excited. It's not actually an event, it's like a presentation. Yeah, but for me, I, I want to call it an event because I miss it's events. I never thought I was going to say it, but I do miss the events so much. I was never an event girl, and I always forced either a friend or Gerardo or whoever to come with me. But now, when we don't have events anymore, I really appreciate that. It's also nice to socialize again. Time to order my ice cream. So we are home now and as you can see I just came out from the shower and uh, I am gonna actually do some granola now. It has been, it hasn't gone that long since I made granola but granola goes like this in our home. Both me and Jar are super big fans so I'm preparing a bit here in the background. Of course I didn't want to make this video without explaining to you why I haven't been vlogging for these months. By the way, I know I'm gonna get some questions about this so. This dress is from Robin Collection. It's quite long. I got it last year and I still think that they have it so I'm gonna link it in the description box. It's so so comfortable and you can also wear it like this which I think it's so romantic. So the reason why I stopped with you do this month is because I honestly I think I mentioned it even in some videos before that I felt really unmotivated and uninspired and it just got worse and worse and worse and I'm a person that when I do something it's because I really genuinely love it and I just felt my love for YouTube getting a bit Smaller. But I knew that if I separated myself a bit from YouTube, I would end up missing it and I would end up loving it again. And here we are. And I'm actually more excited than ever now. So yeah, this can only get better. 
But to be honest, it was really difficult some days to, you know, take up the camera and knowing that you couldn't do anything during the day besides being home or going to buy food because everything was closed for so many months in, in Barcelona and you could just eat dinner around two, three weeks ago, something like that. And also we had to be home every day at 10 o'clock. So it was quite strict here compared to many other countries and it just didn't help with the motivation because I didn't know what to film and I can't show you yet the project that we are working on so I have been filming that though and it's gonna come up later but I can't show you now that either so I was just really really frustrated and so lack of inspiration and also of course last year and this year it's been really really difficult to meet with friends because here in Barcelona the thing is that when you meet your girlfriends for example it's very typical that you meet your girlfriends on a Thursday afternoon evening and since everything was closed and you had to be home at 10 I couldn't meet them either yeah of course we could chill a bit home but it was only for maybe one hour so I felt like when everything was opening up everything was less strict I really really wanted to spend time with the people I love and so did Gerard and yeah we have been having a really good time but I do have to say that I did miss so much taking up the camera in a few moments that we have had especially on our birthday last week was our birthday as you know it's six days apart between me and Gerard so we always end up celebrating it together which is really really nice and for example that morning I wish so much that I would have filmed that for you guys but yeah our friends filmed a bit so I'm gonna show some clips now and such a nice day that I told me it was his best birthday ever even though I was really really mean to him but I feel like I'm talking so much now but I'm gonna explain to you in my next vlog what I did for him on his birthday it was really mean but yeah that was it guys I, I really believe that you understand and I'm back on track let's make some granola and then we are going on a date night today because restaurants are open me and dad are in love and it's time to celebrate. <laughs> so guys, I can't really hold myself from telling you what happened on Dylan's birthday. So I'm just gonna explain to you. So what I did was that I told all of his best friends, two of them lives in Madrid, to cancel Thursday and Friday and send like fake photos from the office that they really can join his birthday and okay so he has a group of five guys two of them works in madrid one of them are in, is in london working and the other one is here in barcelona the one from london could obviously not come because he's working the whole june but the other two from madrid we had planned since one month back that they were going to come to barcelona to surprise them also one of his girlfriends from madrid so yeah they all cancelled and they all got super super sad and when i mean that he got sad he got really heartbroken and we almost came to a point <laughs> me and one of these guys friends thinking you know as we just we say it, that you're coming because i was feeling so so bad i was feeling so good yeah but finally we were like oh just just let's just ignore him and how cute he is when he's sad and just bite it together and then we'll do it as a surprise on saturday but yeah so his birthday came on saturday and in sweden we have a tradition that when it's someone's birthday you come in with a cake that is a swedish flag and you sing happy birthday so yeah probably for his spanish friends that was so weird but i made them all do it <laughs> so they all came at 7 in the morning 7 30 in the morning and they all have this interest in common which is biking they go up in the mountain mountains biking so they all came with bike clothes and like helmets and they were so so cute and they jumped on the bed and they woke up to that and it was i think it was the best moment of his life to be honest he was so happy it was so nice But yeah, so they surprised him, then they went on a bike route, one of my best girlfriends came here, we made breakfast for everyone, and when they came back from the bike route, we all had breakfast together, we got ready, and then we went and had 
lunch with all of our friends together. So oh, it was the most perfect day to be honest. We had lunch in Mordisco. You already saw the clips. It was so nice because we had one part only for us that we had rented that we could close. That was oh, only for our friends. So yeah, and then after that we had some drinks in our home. It was really, really nice. I don't know if much I should put some clips of that now. Let's say that we were not that sober, especially not that but it was really nice. So yeah, that's what we did on our birthday. That gave me a super nice bracelet from Monica Vinader, which you know that I have, have worked with actually, and I love, love, love the jewelry they have. And he gave me one super nice bracelet with our date on the day we met in this so it was very romantic and then what i gave him was an experience for his whole family to go kayaking because the thing is that it's Gerard's mom's birthday two days after mine and then his sister-in-law's birthday in the end of june so i gave his sister-in-law and also his mom this birthday gift so we're gonna go kayaking in a really really beautiful place i'm really excited for that but yeah that was the birthday of this year i wish i would have done this but next year i promise Okay, so what I'm doing here is that I am cutting walnuts, cashew nuts, and uh, some hazelnuts. And here we have the bones. it's supposed to look like this. I also added some water and some cinnamon because then it gets more sticky and you get a bit more of this, like it gets a bit more crunchy, I don't know. It's my favorite part. I'm gonna do two sets. So it's a bit later now and I am going to get ready for a small event and then we're having a small date night. I'm taking you guys on a date with us. I've heard that this restaurant is gonna be so good, so. Let's see. If you wonder what I have done with my hair, I put some salt water in my hair and then I put it in a bun and this was the result. I didn't really like it. I will either put it up or just make it wet again and comb it because then it's gonna be straight again. Time to put on some makeup first. Done! As you can see, I did not go for a very natural look. Not so much on the face, yes, but finally on the eyes, I added this eyeshadow and I couldn't stop adding more and more and more, so I'm all sparkly. It's time for me to fix my hair and then we are going. So we're ready with the bun. Or not the bun, I finally went for a ponytail. But yeah, don't forget, the number one trick is to always wet the hair. Put the line under here. Then when you finally feel like you have a good grip of the ponytail, you pull with the comb back and you pull up the hair. And then steal the dad's hair product. Always works if you have it a bit frizzy. And especially now when I have put salt water spray in my hair, it was very frizzy. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna add some more jewelry and then we are going. We're almost there. Where do we enter? Here. Here? Let's go in. Here we have some original sketches. I love to see this. I love this one. Yeah, it's so beautiful, right? We love to have it for our home. Mm -hmm. few more things to check out before we are going to the restaurant. I must say that I'm super super hungry but I love to see these kind of classical old things and oh it's such an art. So so nice. But yeah let's go to the restaurant. So we have arrived to the restaurant. Look how nice it is. And it's by the way so early that's why there's no people. And everybody's in the terrace. But this is kind of a terrace because we have this little mini garden in front of us. But we're gonna order our plates now and I thought I was going to show you what we're eating because I know some of you are visiting Barcelona so maybe it can be a little bit of uh, tips for you. It's perfectly located. It's in the centrum so... Is it hard? It looks so good. It's good, right? So here we have this really fancy eggplant plate. Yeah. Looks so yummy. Yeah, this is ready to dive in. I put some. Oh. Okay. No, but I want I want three. Thanks. The bravas are here. Really good. Really good. But we must talk about the eggplant. 
insane. They look so normal. But, but they have made the it so good. And it's like melting in your mouth. It was so good. And then we're ending it with some chocolate dessert. You didn't want, so it's all for me. For me, the peanuts.